welcome back everyone to another video and this one we'll be taking a look at some diy single board computer and in our attempt to reduce some e-waste as well as get away with some really good cheap uh, single board computer solution so for that first of all we'll need a pair of mouse and keyboard and here they are good old logitech and then uh, we will also need a usb hub and once we have a USB hub, we will need a micro USB OTG cable, so a micro USB to type A female cable. After that, we would need a power supply and HDMI cables depending upon your device. So with that said, drum roll, we have the star of our show, a very broken tablet PC. So this is my old tablet PC and this is extremely old. This is like five or six years old. We'll get to the specs eventually but the concept here is you need to get a tablet PC that does not have a working screen or as you can see a very very damaged screen. We'll power this on with this particular screen and look at how uh, the sc screen is basically. But uh, the crux is uh, these kind of tablets no one has a lot of use for them they are old they are uh, completely butchered uh, the internals are working but the screen is so costly no one ever uh, goes ahead and you know sort, uh, sort of repairs them and if you get a generic Chinese brand their screens are even available so what you need to do is go ahead search maybe Craigslist eBay and search for these used old damaged tablet PCs because you don't really need the screen one thing to remember it should have an HDMI port and there are a lot of uh, generic Chinese tablets that have an HDMI port in build so with that said I, I don't think it should cost more than a thousand rupees um, maybe like twenty dollars twenty five dollars around that even cheaper is possible but what you are getting a full size tablet computer now if you look into uh, some of the more recent ones you can even get a better performing one uh, so again this is very old its performance isn't going to be at par with anything that you get uh, today in the market even in the used market so with all that said let's um, you know remove everything else and we'll look at why this tablet shows so, uh, so in, in such a bad shape and let's just go ahead and keep it here so again this tablet fell a couple of times and it had a very broken screen uh, but nonetheless it was still working uh, but the thing with its uh, its back plate right here is it's completely made out of solid metal and the only way in was to completely uh, you know destroy the sides and then slide the tablet out uh, it was completely locked down and again it was metal so it was very hard to either break apart or uh, you know move in any other way so I found some weak points around this corner and I was like able to uh, cut my way through basically so again this is a very tough sounding metal right there so so let's get to the main tablet PC uh, again let's power it on before taking a look at it and uh, see what the state of the display is so here is the power button and and this is how it looks like I don't know if you guys can see from all that um, glare from my light but uh, I think right around here it should be visible there are a few lines right there and if you don't know the Android logo is being currently displayed we just can't see it at all and this is how the screen will remain throughout so again uh, if I was not to use it as a single board computer this would have gone in the dustbin there was no uh, no way I was going to get it repaired or anything it was not really worth it it's a really old tablet PC so again uh, I'm trying to reduce e-waste here so I'm just going to force it to shut down I hope it does and uh, should take around 10 seconds yep there it goes 
so let's take a look at the back and everything is pretty much covered up with tape everything interesting we have our battery it says 3700 milliamp hour the real uh, value uh, would be way less something like 2000 uh, and everything else this is the main cpu block i'll get everything out and actually we are going to tear down this whole thing so uh, let's get straight into it uh, now right here we have our wi-fi module uh, and it really seems odd but it mostly seems like an afterthought and this is uh, looks like one of those esp wi-fi modules you get off uh, ebay to connect it to arduino i won't be surprised if it is something like that because it doesn't look like an esp it could be a bit more complicated or a bit more cheaper version so let's take a look at the main cpu now if you're wondering what this uh, gray thingy is uh, it's basically the heat sink that's that's all there is to uh, dissipate the heat that is the heat sink and um, well you don't really need a lot so this uh, tablet particular tablet is powered by a rock chip uh, 3066 it's a 1.6 gigahertz dual core cpu uh, arm v7 i guess it's cortex a9 don't quote me on that it could be something else uh, this is the sandisk flash uh, i think it's 8 gigabytes if i remember correctly and these are the memory so 256 256 256 with around a gig of ram so this is pretty nice they, these are actually in dual channel configuration right here so I really like that but these are again ddr2 basic stuff uh, on the top we have a camera we have a camera on the other side too so with this development board you get inbuilt two cameras and that's a plus tell me one that has inbuilt cameras uh, and uh, this is a very tiny speaker i don't know how really powerful it would be apart from that we have a headphone jack and an sd card so pretty fancy stuff you don't get to see both of these in a device these days so let's take out the other tapes and these are just basically for your lcd connectors and we are going to remove lcd completely uh, and uh, that is that then we have our i guess this is the touch sensor connector thingy and then this is what really like uh, confused me they actually decided to split the uh the button part and the SD card reader part into two parts and not make it a continuous, uh, a single continuous PCB. I don't see a reason for not doing that because you could have gone like this and then there could be traces, uh, traces like forward and I don't know why they decided to do all of that. We also have a very tiny microphone uh, and I don't know if you it would be used at all apart from that we have again a micro usb a power jack and an hdmi connector so that's all there is let's go ahead and tear it apart now before doing that of course i am going to remove all of the connectors sadly uh, i would have liked the battery to be removable but it's not but uh, i am actually deciding uh, deciding to keep the battery and let's see how that goes uh, how is this supposed to yep there it is and there is one connector out of the way uh, if I could just take a pen and flip it again and then there is a similar type of latch in this one and so if you are lucky you can get some um, some boards that have LVDA support directly so you can actually go ahead and either get a bigger LCD screen or maybe change an existing one uh, or something like that I think I'll just leave these here because they have to remain connected anyways and now uh, let me get out my screwdriver if I can find it will this one work so what we need is an extremely tiny screwdriver so i'm going to use this bit without its handle uh, because i don't think a lot of leverage would be required these are extremely uh, tiny screws so here goes nothing maybe a screw opening time lapse or something
okay so looks like all the screws on the PCB are out and let's try to you know sort of lift it out of its shell uh, oh okay, it comes out pretty easily and I hope this one does as well and we can start moving it now one of the issues right here is that the battery is stuck solid to the screen and we need to move out the screen so I think I'll take a bit more time here and get a few other things out of the way okay so finally the whole assembly is out and this is basically your single board computer again we are going to arrange it a bit better on the uh, on the mainframe uh, like the frame of the tablet but well this is it uh, it's not bad for its size it's about my uh, hands length and about like three fingers right so yeah it's a pretty neat little a uh, single board computer uh, a bit less on the expansion what I did notice was that it has a UART connector uh, here so we have TX RX and ground so I think I'll go ahead and probe into that once more uh, and then we'll take a look at if that output is actually worth anything and if UART is working properly then it is an additional uh, bonus for us so we'll just keep it here again a lot of the things uh, present can be reused um, and everything was like just stuck on to the screen and like a tape or something so I'm just going to leave that there so uh, I think I will have to re uh, stick a lot of uh, things here I hope they are not completely relying on the screen to provide ground I can see a bunch of ground pads but I think it should all be okay and I'm just trying to get the screen out and there we go here is the damage screen it's, it actually looks pretty okay but again from the inside it's all broken up and um, damaged so we can't use it sure looks nice you know it's clean it never has been touched this is all like my thing here uh, but yeah so this is the damaged screen uh, and I think we can keep it aside maybe one day I'll do a tear down only of a screen maybe like what's inside a screen or something uh, I haven't uh, you know tore down a screen of this size but yeah whatever uh, we can keep that aside and then uh, try to reallocate everything on this piece of, of you know glass it's still uh, it seems like a single piece from down there but uh, it's all stuck together so shouldn't be much of an issue and again if we put the PCB on here it would end up looking extremely cool so uh, we are into 20 minutes uh, recording now again you guys can't probably notice but that is extremely good I thought it would take about an hour or so but yeah we got the battery out we got everything else out and then we can actually use some uh, I don't use, need want to use uh, double sided tape on the battery so we'll just see if we can get away with it okay the camera thingy should come under here somewhere. okay good so um yeah uh, I just got uh, kind of settled everything down of course there is like a little bit of flex here because uh, there's no screen down there to support it fortunately the battery fits perfectly all right and I can get away with the camera wire being on top that is not a big deal however there is uh, no way for me to secure this Wi-Fi module I think it will be leave uh, left uh, flopping in the breeze 
and uh, for as for the SD card and uh, buttons and everything else this tiny model right there uh, they should find it way back and there we go now we can uh, go ahead and start connecting the connectors uh, not a lot to do with the connectors now that the screen and touch ones are not being used so I think there goes the camera connector uh, I hope it's secure enough and then the ones for the uh, buttons and stuff and that is how it looks like uh, pretty neat I gu I'm guessing and from the other side it looks pretty cool as well and uh, yeah definitely a development board kind of a vibe there now what I'm going to do is go ahead and I want to check the uh, TX and RX here and I'm going to go ahead and check the voltages what they are and go ahead and solder everything uh, that I need for TX and RX so what I am going to do is pause the recording right now because I have probably recorded for around 27 minutes uh, and then I'll get back when I'm done with the soldering and stuff <laughs> 